Uh, Joe Manchin unironically thinks he can bully Republicans and say like, oh, be an American, be an optimist, whatever. Like, bro, you can't say that. You're, you're not. You're still a Democrat. You know what I mean? I'm saying it. Anyway, America's favorite Republican, liberal, conservative. Joe Manchin went on Fox News and had a lot to say about the Inflation Reduction Act, also known as the IRA. The fate of a massive Democratic tax and spending bill was announced last week by Senators Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer. Still hangs in the balance, though. Moderate Democrat Senator Kirsten Sinema has not yet said whether she will support it. A lot of questions looming over whether the package Democrats are calling the Inflation Reduction Act will actually help American families struggling with rising prices or hurt them. A Wall Street Journal op-ed argues the Inflation Reduction Act is an insult to used car salesmen, adding, like that lemon sitting at the back of the lot, it's giving a little touch-up, a fresh coat of paint, a reduced price tag, and a bright new description. But it's still the same car. In Focus now, West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin. Great to have you in Focus today. Oh, it's finally good to be with you, Harris. I know we've been talking about this for a while. It's so nice to be with you. Well, thank you. It's giving lemons, sweetie. Thank you. It, and we have been talking about this for a while. And in yeah. fact, you know what? Let's start there. How did this deal come about so quickly and so quietly? Because you were a holdout like Kirsten Cinema. Well, I wasn't a holdout. I was basically a post at the BBB at three and a half trillion dollars. And when it came down to it last, uh, last December, I just couldn't do it. And I was just up front and told him I can't be done and I can't get there. So that's over. Uh, but I always wanted to do something I could for my country, and this is all about my country. It's not about my politics or someone else's politics or my friends on the Republican side or my friends on the Democrat side or whoever's upset with me. It had nothing to do about any of us. This is about what can we do for the country. And right now, inflation is the greatest threat that we have. It's hurting every West Virginian, I can assure you, at the gas pump, at the, at the, at the food store, uh, and their energy bills, and just their daily lives. And if we have a chance, and I've said this all along, if I ever had a chance to have an energy policy that was bi balanced and we could basically make sure we're producing more energy for what we have rather than going around the world asking other people to produce for us, shouldn't we do that? Shut up, Liv Tars, the food store where you eat the food. All Isn't right. that something we all wanted? And that's what we got out of this. It's a great bill. And I've read the part about what West Virginia could see in terms of energy. We'll get into that in a second. But I want to hit what you said, because you are absolutely right. Everybody's focused on inflation right now. Every yeah. poll shows it. So, uh, you know, I'm looking at the Penn Wharton budget model, which you, Senator, have been known to watch. It examined the details of the Schumer Mansion deal. And, sure. and actually, it said something very different than you just said. It said that the impact on inflation, this is a quote, the impact on inflation is statistically indistinguishable from zero through... Uh-oh. Where's this coming from? Where? Where? 2031. Penn Wharton modelers are saying, we don't agree with those who think oh. deficit reduction will lead in a straight line to lower inf inflation. But that's what the Democrats claim for their bill. So I, had it can't, so I had the Alex Jones trial up on the other side. And that's why. Both things can't be true. And, well, and this is something that they're studying. So are you wrong or are you not giving all, all of the hard truth to Americans about well, what this is going to cost them in let's terms say, of inflation? Let's say maybe they're wrong. Okay, there's other ones that you, said you, absolutely different than that. Moody's has said different. And you have the Bob Artisan budget policies. They've said, Maya McGinnis and her group came out. We had 17 Nobel laureates last year when I said uh, inflation is real, it's going to be here, and it's going to hurt us immensely. They said, oh, no, no, it's going to be transitory. And 17 of the brightest in the country. Were so wrong. let me ask you specifically so what cuts inflation Harris. in this bill. Let me ask you this. How in the world could it be inflation when you're cutting? My Republican friends always said, we got to start paying down debt. I've been a budget hawk my whole life. We're paying down $300 billion. You're saying massive expenses? Hell yeah, brother. That's what we need to do. 3.5 trillion in BBB was right. massive. Expenses. You asked me a direct no, no, question, so I'm going to answer you. So how is it not a straight line? Because I'm not saying, and even Wharton isn't, Penn Wharton isn't saying that it won't eventually get there in a jagged line. 
But you know how it doesn't? Because we are cooking a higher rate of inflation right now ahead of wages. And even if everybody were to go out and get a job or two or three jobs right now, their wages can't keep up with what the cost of milk, bread, gas, so well, on and so forth. Well, don't you think we ought to get those costs down? How you do that? By uh, producing. You've got to produce your way out of this. You can't sit back and wait your way out so of it. So are you going to open pipelines? Absolutely. We're going to build pipelines. We're going to do he says we're gonna open pipelines. Motherfucker, there's plenty of places where you can open pipelines. There's not opening them. I mean, she knows that too, though. How are, are you gonna sell what? that to the president of the United States? Who all also, she's making it seem like uh, inflation is directly tied to the fucking oil and gas prices. So, so why is there still <clears throat> an issue considering that oil and gas prices are, are have been declining? So, is inflation done then? Why is their fucking first argument against inflation? on the on consumer goods immediately around like oil and gas price give me a goddamn food pipeline brother i need you to build a pipe and the bread shoots out of that pipe you know bread lines that's what they did in communist china in america we got bread pipes on day one sold. it's already been sold the and switch. bought it's already been it's part of the deal it's part of the bill all you have to do is read the bill harris and you'll see you're not going to be able to do any more offshore wind or offshore uh, or onshore uh, solar and wind unless we're absolutely doing more production with drilling and extraction. It's all part of a balanced approach. We need more. Dude, I love that. America is the dumbest country on the planet where every bill basically has to be sold to the most reactionary fucking people on the planet. Okay. So every fucking bipartisan legislation, because the Republicans run the country, even if they haven't won, all matter of bipartisan legislation is promoted to the Americans on what it does not feature in it. The greatest example of this was uh, Senator John Cornyn talking about the bipartisan gun control legislation that passed, where his main talking point for it was how it didn't ha how it didn't feature so many of the common sense provisions that you would normally expect in a in any kind of uh, gun control measure it's awesome for energy like he's like yeah you know we're doing <laughs> listen sometimes you got to save but you also got to keep fucking okay the environment can't the environment has to not maintain its unfucked status i need to keep fucking i want to i want to fuck the earth i want to fuck it i want to suck it okay but also simultaneously you know, maybe we'll build some of that pussy gay shit. You know, the the wind farms and whatnot. They're killing, they're killing all the goddamn birds. But whatever. But don't worry. Anytime <laughs> I Joe Manchin will tell you right now. Anytime a new renewable energy, <clears throat> a renewable energy initiative is passed in this goddamn country, I will personally murder birds myself. I will personally dow I will douse them in oil and gas. I will personally Fuck the natural water supply of another underfunded local town. Do not worry. I'm doing it for America, okay? I will not let this country get the gayest form of energy, renewable energy, without fucking the planet myself personally. Today, so, and we also need to invest in the energy for the future. This is a balanced approach that everyone's been talking about. But everyone's upset for whatever reason because they're afraid it's a political bill. This is not a Democrat bill. This is not a Republican bill. All right, this is there. not a green deal. This is a red, white, and blue deal, Harris. And everyone's having a hard time understanding that we can walk and chew gum and do the great thing together if we'll still start looking at our country Look, first and quit worrying about our politics. What, what they see is a senator who they thought was moderate who might push back on some of the talk about I have pushed forcing back on us everything, into Harris. a green see? situation. Uh, Ultimately, oh, no, nah, Republicans are fucking casting Joe Manchin aside after all he, that he's done for them. How dare they? Oh, wait. Of course they were going to do that. They were never your fucking friends to begin with, you dumb fuck. And ultimately, it doesn't matter whether the Democratic Party or the Republican Party likes Joe Manchin. What matters is how much money can Joe Manchin's family get in the process? How much money can Joe Manchin get in the process? It's wild that these guys have clear conflicts of interest, like his family operating a fucking coal mine. And those conflicts of interest are used as a reason as to why he should be in the Energy Committee. 
I have pushed back on everything. Let's talk taxes. And if you think I'm going to roll over, I've been at this for 40 years. I have never, ever, ever been pushed into doing something I didn't think was right for my state or my country. Let's talk taxes. Another criticism is that this will raise taxes. The White House Press Secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, said this when asked about Biden's position. Let's watch. He promised it wasn't going to make, it wasn't going to raise taxes on anybody making less than $400,000 a year, but the Joint Committee on Taxation says that is not true. Well, that is incorrect. So the Joint Committee on Taxation, which you guys heralded as a, an effective body when you were selling that infrastructure package, is not to be trusted here. I said it is not correct because I will give you why it's not correct, because it is incomplete. We got to know the bottom line on taxes. Let I me mean, tell you the bottom line on that, Harris. You want to know the bottom line? The Joint Committee on Taxation? That opinion was only written by my friends on the Republican side. It was not done by the whole Joint Committee. So that is unfair, too. So let's be accurate what we're doing here. The bottom line is how in the world can you be raising taxes when all we're saying is the wealthiest co uh, corporations in. You sounded like a communist, motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this Joe Manchin or Joe Stalin talking right now, talking about all the wealthiest people paying their fair share? They're called jobs providers, brother. How dare you? In America, 55 of them pay zero to help this great country of ours, to defend ourselves. Well, how does this change that? Because it, that's, that's minimum, part it's of a the minimum corporate 15%. structuring. It's right? a minimum of 15%. The tax rate was at 35% before 2017. Right. Then it went to 21%. Mm -hmm. That was a tremendous savings, but that's not good enough, I guess. All we're saying is at 15% minimum, everyone in West Virginia I know, and most people around the country, pay a 21% corporate or greater. So why can't... That's such a funny fucking thing to get upset about. That's such a funny thing to get upset about because, like, it just does not fucking... <clears throat> I mean, he's right. I can't believe I'm saying this, but he's he's completely correct when he says, like, everyone's already fucking paying way more. Like, everyone's already, like, the average West Virginia is paying significantly higher percentage of their fucking yearly income, uh, their, their yearly uh, uh, revenue generation, than corporations in that regard. And the greatest uh, billion dollars of, of revenue a year, Are, why can't they pay at least 15%? For this great country. Are you trying to also say, because this is, this is. China is attacking Taiwan. China is attacking Taiwan. And then this guy keeps spamming. Taiwan belongs to China, not you American pigs. He says, because the USA interferes in other countries, they should leave them. And American hegemony, hegemony is running out. Love that. Listen, we're top G defenders in here. This is the part that counts. I mean, people look at, at corporations and they know they've got great tax accountants. Heck, they have complete departments trying to come up with ways to, to find loopholes and, and to keep we're and to hire that. people as well. I mean, let, let's. Oh my God, this is awesome, dude. There's a, a revenue a year. Are, Why can't they pay at least 15% for this great country? Are you trying to also say, because this is, this is. She should have just said, you sound like a communist. Because that's significantly better than what she's doing now, which is defending corporations, not paying even a minimum 15 percent uh, uh, tax, uh, uh, minim paying 15 percent of corporate earnings. That's the part tax. that counts. I mean, people look at, at corporations and they know they've got great tax accountants. Heck, they have complete departments trying to come up with ways to, to find loopholes and, and to keep We're and to hire that. people as well. I mean, let, let's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big corporations will be able to evade these corporate tax loopholes, whereas the, the little corporations, the little guy will get fucked over. Let's not forget that, too. Um, but $400,000 was supposed to be the cutoff. And I'm reading, and I am reading, Senator, that who's it's paying, below that Who's paying now. any taxes? Who's paying any taxes that doesn't have a corporation that has revenue of over a billion dollars a year? Not one person. Not one person. Harris, you're assuming because they'll pass that on. The Why is he saying this? What? Yo, my man got dicked down by Dark Brandon and he came out unironically speaking, speaking like a Maoist over here, bro. What is happening? Dark Mansion, dude. What the fuck? Joe Chi Min. God, we're so cucked as Americans that like 
The moment that like a fucking reactionary dumbass senator who operates a fucking coal mine with his family, whose daughter is most famous for unnecessarily raising the price of EpiPen with no accountability whatsoever, says corporations pay a minimum 15% tax. That's crazy. We're like, oh, he's a Maoist. This guy's a fucking Maoist third world. I mean, I know we're joking, but like, it's so fucking sad that that is like, like this is unironically the most positive shit I've ever heard come out of this goddamn idiot's mouth. <laughs> Joe Rogan talking about the recession. I love that. Oh, that's injected directly into my vein. Companies that were paying zero. No, no, no. Now I'm asking a different question than you're answering. I'm saying Americans, four hundred thousand dollars and below now are going to be taxed. Their that's taxes wrong. are going to go wrong. up. That's a lie. That is a pure outright lie. So their taxes are not going to go up. Not at all. And you know one thing. How about the people that are going to be saving as far as on their Medicare, $288 billion who are paying okay. higher prices than they should? Aren't they? They didn't even assume that right. in the revaluation. They didn't talk about any of that. How so, about if gasoline prices go down because we're producing more oil to make more well, gasoline? Well, and those are going to fluctuate. Already experts are saying we could go right back up before Labor Day. But I want to hit that, that, be that tax be line American, again of 400000 Be an American. I, I got to hit that. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, it's just... Uh, Joe Manchin unironically thinks he can bully Republicans and say like, oh, be an American, be an optimist, whatever. Like, bro, you can't say that. You're, you're not. You're still a Democrat. You know what I mean? This is the thing that Democrats don't understand. Being an American is not about like <clears throat> being a patriot and caring about your country by, I don't know, uh, trying to uplift the American working class. Being an American, i.e. being a patriot is about being a fucking racist. OK. That's it. The more American, the more racist you are, the more American you are, the more Republican you are, the more American you are. They own it. They own it. You can't fucking turn around and be like, be an American, be an American. It's like, no, John Kerry tried to do that shit. He was like, I'm such an American. Look at me. I, I, I went and I fucking fought uh, in the war or whatever. Like, look, unlike George W. Bush, who's like afraid. Like, yeah, no one cares. They think you're gay, bro. They saw you windsurfing and we're like, nah, that guy's gay. I don't want to vote for that guy. Because you will never be able to own patriotism. You will never be able to out reactionary the reactionaries. Okay? It's just not gonna, you're not gonna be able to do that. <laughs> I'd vote for a gay guy. You're missing the point. I'm not even using gay as like, I'm using gay in the way that a reactionary person would use it. Okay? Not like as in a person who likes to have sexual intercourse with men. Fellas, is it gay to feel the wind blowing through your hair? Yes. Mansion has his moments. Booger stuck to your finger moments, but he has them. Are you saying that Mitch McConnell and others in the Senate are wrong about those numbers and that Americans' taxes are not going to go up totally beyond wrong. that point? Totally, absolutely wrong. Yep, damn swift boat vets against Kerry doing the he's not a real vet crap back in 04. Yep, I got my boomers in here finally fucking coming in clutch. Totally wrong. And here's the thing. Right. They're looking what? at it through political lenses. Look at it through the American I'm lens. I'm just asking Look questions. At it I'm, I'm just answering questions. Okay. I want to answer these questions because what you're asking and the facts there you have is. are completely wrong. Look at well, you the guys American. are in the same chamber, so it'll be interesting when you finally get to the, you know, to, to stir in the stew here what it's really going to be like. I want to get to this. You gave some interviews over the weekend on Sunday shows, and at one point you were asked the question on whether or not you would like to see Democrats um, do much, much better than what they're forecast to do right now based on, on the numbers. 98 days away from the midterms. Sure. Uh, did you dodge the question when you said, so I Didn't can work with either side? I never dodge a either question. Side. My, let's roll the tape. Let's roll the let tape. Me give, hold on, let me give you an answer. Hold, let's roll do you the hope tape. Democrats keep control of the House and Senate? I think people are sick and tired of politics, Chuck, but I, I'm not going to predict what's going to happen. I'm not asking you to predict. I just want to make sure we do something good. And this is what result do you <laughs> want? Do you want the Democrats to keep control of the United States Senate? and the House of Representatives. Uh, you know, I'm not making those choices or de decisions on that. I'm going to work with whatever I have. Them, you don't care about the, voters, the outcome this year? Whatever the voters choose, I can't decide what's going to happen. That wasn't dodgeball? That's not a dodgeball. That, I'm not getting involved in the political. This is not a political piece of legislation. This is an American legislation. We need energy. We this motherfucker keeps saying this? Okay, bro, you keep repeating it. It's not working, okay? You got to be a boomer to... Remember 2004? Yes. We need to pay down debt. We need to accelerate our, our permitting process so we can build things and yeah, meet the challenges. Yeah, but the, the elections are going to need some help. You've got a president so who's, I am not who's going to make a statement on that. Bro, it's like, 
why do you care? Like, let let me do me. Okay, if I was a fucking politician, I mean, I'd kill myself. But, uh, but like, let's say in a hypothetical scenario where I'm a politician and I haven't killed myself immediately out of the sheer shame that I brought upon many many generations by becoming a politician. Um, what I would do is just be like, dude, what do you mean? Like, one, you're a Republican. Two, you are literally sitting on the throne of the Republican propaganda machine, Fox News. Why do I care about your perspective on, like, how Democrats can win elections? I would rather ask the random guy that is preaching the truth about black Israelites outside of a fucking metro station sitting on a fucking soapbox about the future of the Democratic Party than you. Because I don't know what that guy's underlying motivations might be for giving me this fucking advice, but I know what your underlying motivations are. You don't want fucking Democrats to get uh, elected. You know what I mean? Like, but that's it. I know that already. I, I know that. So why would I ask you? Is like as low as Congress is. Well, I mean, no we all do something you know right? that are when you, you get into the 30s, no one's that popular. Harris, and that's are you president. scared we're going to do something good to help our country I'm, and someone might not. take credit for it? My father served. Are you kidding? Service well, is in the Bible. Like that's what we do. We serve our fellow man and woman. Of that's course. exactly what I'm don't, doing. Don't, don't, exactly, don't make Harris. this personal because it's not. I'm simply asking that you've got a president who can't really help anybody on the campaign trail with the numbers he's rocking right now. Well, and let so me to just have you say this. something like that, it doesn't sound supportive of your own party. And I'm asking why. Let me just why. say this. I'm working with what I have here and the majority party that we have is a Democratic Party. I'm working with a president who's accepted the proposal I've put forward and negotiated, which is a balanced energy policy. That's wonderful for our country. I know people who don't like the president, don't like Democrats, might be upset. This is not about whether you like right. the president or whether you like Democrats. Do you like America? Do you want us to succeed as a country? Do you want to fight inflation? This bill does it. Real quickly, the president of the United States, do you want to see him run in 2024? I am not talking about 2022. I'm not talking about 2024. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about the American bill we have, right. the uh, Inflation Reduction Act, which is like, I don't understand. I mean, it, it is pretty funny because like he literally can't say it right? because no one can say it because who knows if Dark Brandon is alive by 2024. You know what I mean? Whichever clone is alive at that point. It's just like it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. All matters is the top of the hour ad break. OK, and what you can do about that. <laughs>